Hi guys, you're welcome back as usual. My name is MCD ID and you call me MCD Benja. And this is your favorite show, it's developing challenges when you talk to your favorite celebrities, celebrities in entertainment, celebrities in entrepreneurs, whatever you're doing to make a change in the world. We talk to them right here on the show. And of course, today's another episode, and we're gonna be talking to another amazing person who's making a change in the society with what he does. So he is known for his title, his name or character known so in the wedding party. Guess what? He's an Hollywood actor, his name is Elena Ligo. I hope I got it right. And he's going to tell me how to pronounce that name very well when we get on set. Let's go find out what we are doing with him today. He's right here at Kamif and we are going to be challenging him here at Kamif. Let's go find out. Hi guys, as usual, we are back and talking to your stars as usual, bringing them to you, challenging them. With what they know how to do best, you know, acting, music, uh, entrepreneurship, everything they know how to do, but we get to challenge them, ask them pertinent questions about how they are using whatever they are doing to bring change in the society. And with me, I have somebody who's not from around here, but is a popular face around here. Ladies and gentlemen, my guest for today is another person that Nollywood actor, producer, and uh, entertainment entrepreneur. His name is Eina Mwigwe. Mwigwe, uh, you Mwigwe. prefer the Mwigwe one. Uh, well, that's a good one. I was waiting for you to choke, but you didn't. So, welcome to the show. This Thank is Event of Challenges, and we get to talk to entertainers, African entertainers in mm. general. How has it been being in Cameroon for your first time? It's been amazing. You know, what's beautiful is I haven't left the walls of uh, the Mountain Hotel, Mountain Hotel yet. But why? Yet, um, there's so much because I'm meeting people. I have, I have a way of understanding things that is unconventional. I can see Cameroon through the people I am interacting with. I can see Cameroon through, uh, of course, online, which is different. Yes. Uh, but I'm, I'm expressing the food. I'm big on lo yeah. on local food, so I'm trying one every day. So which, which have you, which is the best? Uh, Eru Ndole, uh, Ndole. Ndole. Yeah. Um, I, I tried. Um, is it Kwakaku? Kwakaku. Kwakaku. That's, that's actually my challenge now. Ah, oh, then I'm looking. I'm looking to try next cookie. <laughs> cookie. Yeah, that's my next one. Okay. So I'm trying uh, one new uh, local dish every day. Okay. You know, I'm making stories on my Instagram. I'm pushing it out there. Yeah. I'm getting more people from Cameroon interact to say yeah. teach me a few things you know so i haven't stepped out because we're so busy here i'm doing an acting master class uh with the students yes. and um doing other activities for the for the festival interviews like this yeah. so i won't have time to be a tourist but i'm making the most of this mm -hmm. because before coming here it's been a hell of stressful time working from yeah. location to, to location. location and this feels like therapy for me you know so while i'm still working and being so busy I am also at ease with the, the scenery, the weather, yeah. the people which are different, which fascinate me, you know, so... Yeah. so you, to, 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 to actually travel during this period, during the COVID-19 period, it must be something that you have deep in your heart. Mm -hmm. what, is, what does movie making, filmmaking mean to you as a person? Uh, it means my life. You know, everything I am, I, it's, a, it's a 360 and it keeps going on and on. We progress with value. Uh, I see art as an expression of life and life as an expression of art. So every experience in my life translates to how I interpret characters that come in different ranges. Working, uh, work, sitting here with you counts for something. It's all a mindset. So for me, they are one and the same. When I'm doing business out of film, outside film, doing anything, I've done stuff, be it building, be it the selling land, yeah. you know, I try to put other things. Film is just the focus and the core of my brand. Yeah. Those experiences, those exchanges, those interactions also make me understand humans in a way that, because everything is about human beings. Yeah. Science, art, everything is about solutions for a better world, you know, and it's human beings that occupy the world and the environment, you know, so I find that they are all the same. So film making is life for me. Before we get to talk about mm -hmm. you coming to Kami and the whole experience in Kami and what you have, you have seen that's different from what you are. Uh, I like your rule on wedding party, you know, so it's one of my best characters I've one of my okay. best characters I've done so far. And I have a lot of people who when I told them I was coming to talk to you, they were asking they were they told me to ask you, how was how was that different from other projects that you did? Uh, it was different uh, in so many ways. The ensemble cast. Yeah. Um, having comedian, musicians, actors come together, uh, different in exploring the uh, cultural dynamics of uh, getting married because we're very diverse people in Nigeria, yeah, yeah, different yeah. cultures, you know, playing into that, uh, you know, mother-in-law narrative, yeah. showcasing our flamboyant and cultural yeah. looks, our attires, you know, yet keep it A-class with the performances, the actors, the brands involved. 
uh, giving Nigerians a piece that is entertaining yet unifying yeah. because everybody could relate and could uh, see themselves in, in that and it, it went on to become the biggest box office uh, hit of, our, of our, our industry you know so yeah that was uh, it was so refreshing you know and yeah it changed everybody's career apart from there if you haven't watched the wedding party guys you should go check it out it's a very beautiful movie. It's one or two, actually. Yeah, yeah. On, 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 on Netflix. Yeah. Watch it on Netflix. Get to watch it because it's amazing. So, you basically are doing all the workshops that you've attended, uh, educating people on workshops and stuff. What is, can you say is different that you've noticed between actors, young actors in Cameroon, and young actors in Nigeria? What, what are some different things? Um, I think uh, the, 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 the uh, possibility mentality. Okay. I find that young actors in Cameroon um, uh, need which is why we're here, you know, a bit more of a projected uh, mindset. mindset. You know, every time I try to talk value from a global perspective, from from a point of view of you being enough, people are saying, but in Cameroon, but in Cameroon. And yeah. when they open their mouths and say that, they say things that we also go through, even though you see, think that we have a, an industry that works. Yeah. It's human nature. There'll be bad people, there'll be good people. There'll yeah. be people that want to uh, use mediocrity over excellence and nepotism over merit it's an africa thing man no man it's everywhere but what are you doing about it are you going to wait until that fixes itself which will never chances that our humans are getting worse or are you going to find a way to plug into the world understanding that you have a chance like everybody else are you going to understand that it's free game with the internet now that anybody can see you at any point are you going to allow people that are going to work every morning and making viral videos become more popular uh, performers than you the performer so you have a lot of choices to make to give yourself a chance i always give the fisherman diary uh, um, example yeah. i never knew about the Cameroon film industry and that's embarrassing because you're next door to me I, door? I went to university in university of calabar yeah just here just by, here, road. by road and i didn't know but i know ghana because of the exchange Excellent. you've been doing in film collaborations you know and some of our, the guys were showing me your top actors and they were shocked that i didn't know i was, I was shocked that they, you had such you know, amazing you know, amazing talent that look the part and everything else and own their their space. And I don't know them. And um, Fisherman Diary, I saw it because of uh, Ramsey. Ramsey. He made a post on Instagram, and I went to Netflix immediately the first day of uh, showing, sure. and I saw it. And then I got to understand the Cameroon film industry existed. I saw the power in the girl that played the role, and yeah. uh, uh, Bibi, Bibi. Uh, the, the guy, the the, the, the yeah. pigeon. Yeah, I didn't even know the pigeon kind of pigeon you guys spoke. And I saw the similarities. And now, because Ramsey is established, he has eyeballs, he has presence on Netflix already. This is Cameroon's first Netflix uh, film. People that go to see Ramsey see Cameroon. And that is an acquired taste from there from then on. Yeah. That the more films come, the, like Nigeria has a Nigeria catalog on Netflix, Cameroon deserves it. All. Everyone deserves a piece of the pie yeah. if they do what they have to do and understand that it's possible. So I think it's just that mindset of we can. Yeah. We can be known yeah. and not just within. Yeah. yeah. So what what does it mean? What does it like? For example, you, you made mention of Cameroon being on Netflix. Yeah, we have two movies actually right now. Cameroon yeah, Cameroon yeah. Cameroon. Therapy. Therapy. I, I heard. I, I was told. Yeah. So how 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 can this be an open uh, open door, more opportunities? How does it mean, how does it change the face of an industry with a platform like this to uh, that gets to come in? How does it change the face? Okay, let me give you an example from a personal experience. Yes. Uh, last year pandemic. Europe and some part of the world went into a lockdown before Africa three months in advance. These people had nothing to do but to watch movies. Netflix, you know, shares grew, went through the roof, just like Zoom, all those other uh, things that were the only option people had. So people consume almost everything on Netflix, those that are ardent watchers of film, and discovered new content, Nigerian content. I found that people from Europe, Italy, and all that, that would go watch Wedding Party 1, yeah. they see you there, they check for other films, okay. search in the bar, yeah. and they see that you're there. They now realize, oh, Nigeria. Then they start, because of you, yeah. they are get, understanding the culture, getting interested, just like we consume Telemundo, Z World, yeah. that is not our culture, okay. but because they are in our faces. So that way I have a new audience from across the world. That means in a Hollywood film, I have commercial value because of the eyeballs on international platform that can be proven by an anal analytics. Yeah. So the same way, because of Ramsey, I saw Fisherman Diary and the eyeballs that went to see Ramsey have seen a new star. Yeah. And this becomes a, uh, I hear, Cameroonian uh, Oscar yeah, speak. Oscar now, that girl can go from here to 
Hollywood in just that one picture. She's in Nigeria working now, and I don't know when she'll come back because producers will just be hiring her. Then it's only on a Wikipedia page that you see she's from Cameroon. Yeah. So her name has brought back shine to the country and the industry. And my first post on upon arrival here had a mountain backdrop. I have over 100 DMs saying they're coming here yeah. because of the lens yeah. and the angle of which I captured what I captured. And that's tourism, that's revenue. This hotel will make money, the state will make money, people will know Cameroon, your food will travel. I'm posting every meal I, I, I eat on my stories. People are learning. People that follow me because of what they trust about me are trusting whatever I like and I trust. So that is cultural exchange. That's visibility. You know what I mean? So there should be more co-productions that way so that we can rub off of each other's eyeballs in the global space that is limitless. And it's more than enough to go so around. As an, as an actor, what is, what is branding? You mean to an actor? Is it just about you knowing how to act? No. What 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 does branding as, as brand mean? Um, it means more now than ev ever before because it's visibility. Uh, um, the space in general now is visual. Yeah. It's about what's in your face. People will consume trash that is in their face yeah. before they will look for quality on their own. You know. So if quality doesn't market itself, it won't be seen. Um, you see big. Uh, uh, CEOs now doing photo shoots to be on the cover of the page. People now want human face to, to brand. They are already successful, but they understand that their image adds value, adds confidence. That's why you have brand ambassadors now, influencers. So dynamics have changed. So the more important it is now for an actor to be branded than before, where it was about the strength of your performance that grew your commercial value. Now, like I said, a banker going to work that makes funny videos in his car can become more viral and more popular than you, the actor. Yeah. So why should that happen? So you owe it to yourself to be in people's faces beyond the film. Not everyone will see the film, but they'll see the promotions. Not everyone will consider the film, but they might see the trailer. Not everyone might see the film, but they might see you on the red carpet. They might see you doing other things that keeps you in the mind and creates likability, which is what social media is, likes and engagement. And that is now commercialized. Followers now are a currency. A brand will hire you because they know you have one million people that are looking and trusting what you're saying. And that is easier than putting it, paying more money for TV advertising because you are direct influence. We can see the engagement, we can see the analytics. So dynamics have changed. So branding is important for everyone. Okay. Now, before, before we go, before we, we end this interview, I would want you to tell me or tell those who are watching, young actors who are watching, what does it take for you? To be on that number one spot. What does it take for you to be on that spot? Or that, like always. It takes originality. Nothing is more sustainable than doing it on your terms. It takes not trying to keep up with the Joneses. It takes not trying to think, not thinking the grass is greener on the other side. It takes, but but before you get to that point, commitment, perseverance, and presence is important. Consciousness is important. You have to be present all the time in every situation you find yourself. The birds are chipping. This is happening. We're having a conversation. It all comes together to create that thing, you know. So, commitment, perseverance, originality. It takes all of those things. No one can take it away from you. Because no matter how much people copy you, because you are growing and trusting yourself, the more you conquer, the more you can create more beauty that can be kept up with. And then no one can take that from you because it's your creation. Yeah, I don't know if you get what I mean. Yeah, yeah. All right, thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you very much for stopping by to leave your masterclass and just to talk to us. We are really grateful. I, I hope all my viewers have learned a lot from this uh, exchange. I hope so too. Try more Cameroonian food before you go back. I am, uh, you're, you're holding me down. I'm going to try one now. <laughs> yeah, you should, you should try, you should try one again. All right.